when Ibrahim Radhi Allahu Ta'ala anhu, the beloved son of our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away in his infancy. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam picked Ibrahim Radhi Allahu Ta'ala anhu up in his arms. Tears started rolling out of his eyes onto his cheeks, onto his beard. And what did he say? He said, Innal Aina Tadma. The eye is shedding tears. Innal Aina Tadma. The eye is shedding tears. Well, Kalba Yahzan and the heart is experiencing grief. This is nature. These things are natural. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not order us to do anything that is beyond our ability. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say, Sabra means no crying, no shedding tears. Sabra means no grief. Allah created us. He knows our nature. So He has given permission to all of us to shed tears, to cry, to feel grieved. Sometimes for a few moments, sometimes for a whole day, sometimes for a whole week, and sometimes for many, many months, and sometimes for the rest of our lives, we feel grieved when we lose somebody who is very dear to us. Allah has given permission. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah has given this permission. So the eye is shedding the tears, and uh, the heart is feeling the grief. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us not to think negative about Allah. So I accept the taqdeer. And as a result of accepting this taqdeer, I will not do or say anything that will displease Allah. Wala naqulu. We will not say. Illa ma yurdi rabbana. But that which will please our creator. And what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. What pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we exercise sabr? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوءِ وَنَقْسِمْ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالْسَمَرَاتِ We will definitely test you. And what you sh- should you be doing? You should be doing sabr. Sabr. And if you do sabr, وَبَشِّرِ السَّابِرِينَ Then there is glad tidings for those people who do sabr. There is glad tidings for those people who do sabr. And who are the people who do sabr? What is their quality? الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُسِيبَتٌ When any calamity strikes them, they say, إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ We are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We belong to Allah and to Him we will return. As soon as they say, إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes happy with them. And what does Allah say? أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ For such people are common mercies and special mercies from their Rabb. Common mercies and special mercies from their Rabb. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ And these are the guided ones. Our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam says that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides to take a child away from the parents, then he orders the angels to extract the ruh of this young child, of this infant, maybe six months old, maybe less, maybe more. In Palestine also, hundreds of children are dying. Hundreds of children are dying. And it's, it, it's very easy to say hundreds of children are dying. If hundreds of children are dying, then hundreds of parents must be grieving. But mashallah, they are all exercising sabr. They are innocent people. The innocent civilians of Gaza. Their young children are dying as a result of this war. And they have nothing to do with this war. Hundreds of bombs are being dropped in 24 hours. And over 5,000 people have passed away so far. And more than half of them are children. 
once I said to my lead sheikh and mentor Hadrat Haji Muhammad Farooq Sahib Rahmatullahi Alayhi I said to him, I said, Hadrat, I make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take me away from this world whilst you are alive so that I may become deserving of your prayers and as a result of your prayers and supplications, Allah may forgive me. So he very quickly told me to remain silent. He said, no, don't say this. He said, no, don't say this. And he used to love me a lot. I was like a child for him, his own child. I remember his khadim, Dr. Muhammad Sabir Sahib Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he also passed away. He said to me once after Hadrat passed away, he said, I have been in the company of Hazrat for 16 years, day and night. Majority of the time he was always with Hazrat. And he said that, I don't think so, Hazrat loved anybody more than you. I have not seen a, a Hazrat showing so much love to anybody than you. So he said, no, don't say this. And then he said to me, he said, my son, you don't know how difficult it is for a father to lift the janaza of his child. It's not too difficult for the son to lift the janaza of his father. The son will feel grieved naturally. But the grief will not remain forever. But when a child passes away, we can't imagine how much the parents grieve. They bottle it inside, they keep it inside. Because they have to be strong for other people. And they do not forget their child throughout their lives and they cannot get rid of this grief for the rest of their lives. It may decrease, but the grief will remain. I met a father whose son was shot dead and he said to me, maybe a good 30-40 years after this incident, and he was weeping and crying, uh, uh, crying uh, uh, as if his son had passed away today. And what did he say to me? He said to me that since my son has passed away, not a single Friday passes when I do not complete a Quran for him. This is how much love the, child, the parents have for the children. My friends, we don't realize the love that our parents have for us. Sometimes, some people can't show their love. Naturally, some, some parents can't show their love. And sometimes they don't show their love for reasons known to them, uh, to make sure that the tarbiya of the children takes place properly. But it's not that they don't have love for you. My late father, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, used to say that nobody can be more sincere for us than our parents. Nobody else can be more sin sincere than our parents. Yes, due to lack of knowledge or lack of experience, they may uh, take wrong steps for us, but the decisions, even the wrong decisions that they make, they are full of sincerity. Full of sincerity. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. What did he say when the angel extracts the ruh of this child and he goes and stands before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the ruh of the child, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when you extracted the ruh of this child, what did the parents say? So the angels say, they said, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. They exercised sabra. With the heart and the mind, they were content that whatever Allah does, it's painful, but whatever Allah does. So the parents feel grieved, but what do they say? They say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilihi rajiun. And when you say that we all belong to Allah, and we will all return to Allah, then we are praising Allah, because we are saying everything belongs to Allah.
So Allah takes something from a person and then that person praises the one who snatches away something from him. What a great behavior. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that build a palace each for my both servants, for the father and for the mother. And name this palace Baytul Hamd, the house of praise. That means the house and the palace that has come into existence as a result of my servant praising me. 